Hello again and welcome to my creative African cooking channel Indie do by Fafa Miawe Zulu Indie do by Fafa Hello family, how you all doing? Okay, so today we're going to be making this rustic okra soup, which is a superfood by the way, because I'll be using an unusual green, which I will say has more vitamin C than an orange. And I'm talking about parsley. Of course, I've got my water then. Let me run through the list of ingredients quickly. I've got my prawns, habanero chili peppers, my chopped okra, onions, I've got the parsley of course, my smoked cod, squid rings, mackerel, I've got my bolu seasoning, yes, and my holy grill spice blend. Now for the seasoning and the spice blend, they are available on buy in Dudu. Dot com. Currently, we only deliver to UK addresses. Anyway, so now let's start. To my saucepan, I'm just going to be adding my water. And then the next thing I'm going to do is add my onions. Now, if you know anything about me, me and onions, we are good friends. I think I've even demoted it by calling a friend. We're first cousins. You know what I mean? Yes. So now that I've added my onions, I'm going to add my habanero chili. This dish is one that I describe as potogum shigum. Yes, you know, just ignore the sort of elongated way that I describe the potogum shigum. But anyway, <laughs> if you've not heard, I've got my spice and seasoning range and that depicts all natural flavors. Absolutely. So if you want to make that amazing West African dish, yes, I've got you all connected. Anyway, next thing I'm going to add is my bolu, which is made out of smoked shrimps and of course i've just blended it with some special spices and that just makes it incredible the bolu blend also doubles up as an instant stock so when you want to make your soup yes this is the one for you the next blend i'll be using will be my holy grill which has that aniseed ginger garlic base to it and oodles and oodles of more spices. Honestly, it's incredible. And it's so intense that a little goes a long way. So I've used half a teaspoon full of it and I've just mixed everything together. At this point, whilst this is simmering, just for about three minutes it was simmering, I'm adding my fresh fish. I'm started off with my smoked cod. And then the next thing is I'm adding my mackerel. This is a no fuss, straightforward dish that you can have ready within about 15 minutes. I've got some squid rings that I've added to it. Now bear in mind, if you've got your mussels, you can add that to it. You know, these are the ingredients that I have at home, but equally you can use any fresh fish of your choosing to make this dish or seafood, may I say. And here I'm just adding my frozen prawns and they're looking good. So I'm just going to allow this to simmer whilst I tend to my okra. But of course I need to add my salt to taste and my salt as well is blended with other herbs which also includes thyme so it's incredible as much as any salt is that in Dubai for first salt and that will be coming up soon so this has been simmering beautifully and now I'm just going to move on to my okra my chopped okra which I've mixed with a little bit of water the next thing is I'm adding my bicarbonate soda and that makes it slimy. You don't need to do that. You can, you know, omit that altogether. Traditionally, we use a kang for it. Anyway, next thing is rainy more onions. And then, of course, I'm going to be adding my salt, which has that thyme base in there. And you know, thyme also includes or does have vitamin C as well. And my bolu blend is representing again. So what I'm doing is adding flavor to my okra. And I'm just going to be steaming this for about three to four minutes. Yes, I just want to activate that mucilaginous nature of the okra. Next thing is I'll be adding my peppers. So I've added my habanero chili and then also my green peppers. Mm, yum, yum, yum. And this is looking good. Absolutely. Now, if this is your first time, you're welcome. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope I've given you that reason to click the subscribe button if you haven't done so and the notification button so you do not miss anything at all. Now, at this point, I'm going to be adding my parsley and I'm just using my scissors 
and chopping my parsley because this is almost ready. All I need to now do is just mix everything together and then transfer it into my beautiful fresh fish and seafood stock that I have. Mm. <laughs> After five minutes of cooking on that low heat, just to allow that infusion to take place, my okra soup a la indudu is ready. And of course, I had to serve it with my bankung, but this is not any other bankung. And I'll be revealing this soon as to what it is. It is an incredible kind of banku that will be coming soon on Bai in Dudu. Yes, you heard it here first. And you see how silky smooth and easy and beautiful that is. Absolutely. And it's exactly what I served with my soup. Now, I was looking at it, I was like, nah, I've not got time to like, you know, shape this into that bowl shape. I'm just doing it as, you know, when one visits the village, how we do it, you know, in that sort of family-oriented way. Yes, you just cut the thing and just put it in the bowl. No wahala, no shenanigans, no keche, no them wapaso, wapaso things. No, this, you sit on the floor, uh -huh. you put that bowl of food in between your legs, wide apart, and no washi, kuronto na du, prenchoji. Boto, you see, mm -hmm. one, two, three. Ah, boom! You all invited, oh, virtual invites. Hashtag open your mouth now. Let me feed you. <laughs> now, if you do like what you see, please don't forget to show me some love, like the video, share with your family and friends. Yes, also check the website by Indudu. You might find something that you do like. Because this is so easy in terms of I just use that Baloo blend as a stock and that's just made my soup. No wahala. No wahala at all, yes. So it's just to make our everyday cooking of a staff condition so cool. You know what I mean? Balu, hats off to you. Me love you for you. I'd leave links in the description box, yes. So you can purchase the Baloo blend if you wish to. And also, I've done another recipe where I stir fry the okra. Absolutely incredible. If you've not watched it, yes, I'll leave a link in the description box. Now, did you watch my cured mixed goat meat stew? That is a must try. And the honey glazed guinea fowl. Yeah, these are recent videos that I've shown. So if you've missed out on them, I'll leave links in the description box and you can watch them to your heart's content. Naturally, I leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in Dudu by Fafa.blogspot.com because it's a traditional recipe. Absolutely. So do check it out. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat as in Dudu by Fafa. So pass by and say hi. Noel, thank you very much for my theme song. And until my next recipe with you, kings and queens, guess what? I love you for you.